The warm weather continues here on the Sun Coast. It's Bob with details. Yeah, 68 degrees right now. That's warm for this time of year. Normal low right around 51 degrees. We're not going to be anywhere close to that tomorrow morning. It will start off warm and we have some big changes. We're going to talk about the possibility of severe weather uh, over the weekend. Once again, it's always on a weekend. It seems uh, viewer photo uh, photos showing a uh, Linda Bruns from Venice Beach. This nice shot as the sun had already set and doing some high clouds around in association with a storm system located to the west and north of us. We've got some clouds came in, but that's about it. Uh, well, some fog overnight could be a problem for commuters, especially just around sunrise, inland areas specifically, but still it could be a little closer to the coast too. And severe storms are possible. That means uh, conditions are ripe for the possibility of winds gusting as high as 60 miles an hour and frequent lightning, some very heavy rainfall, and there's also a possibility of an isolated tornado or water spot. So we'll have to watch that closely, especially as things progress throughout the day on Saturday to give us a better indication of what we can expect on Sunday. Coastal flooding concerns, especially Sunday and Sunday night too. Winds and seas are going to really pick up. There'll be coastal advisories up and down uh, eastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. Now this is a look at the severe weather probability. The area in yellow that you see there, we have a 15% chance of getting severe weather with the storm. There's a little bit better chance in North Sarasota continuing throughout most of Manatee County. That chance is at 30% uh, for the possibility of some rough weather. We're definitely going to see some thunderstorms. Uh, the chances of them turning severe is there. It's not all that great. It's marginal right now, but it will be a problem, I think, uh, for uh, North Central Florida specifically. Well, some big storms firing up tonight over the panhandle of Florida. Nothing severe, but uh, that is pushing off to the east northeast and will stay away from us. There are some showers uh, moving along the coastline here. These are moving to the northeast at around 15 to 20 miles an hour, but they're not going to have an impact on our weather. 68, I mentioned it's warm, and it is, and it's going to stay that way too overnight. South winds at 7, the pressure at 30.02 inches. That's holding steady right now, and as far as the high goes, it was above average into the mid-70s for the most part up and down the coast. The low this morning was also very warm at 56 degrees, our normal low at 52. Now, no rainfall. We could use the rain. We haven't had much this month. This is typically a very dry month. Uh, we're still about a half inch below average. We're going to see about a half inch to up to an inch and a half uh, in some areas. Now, the uh, heavier rainfall will be spotty and it'll be hard to pinpoint exactly where that's going to occur, but most everyone's going to get in the act in terms of the rainfall. It should begin by Sunday afternoon and continue through Sunday night. Temperatures right now warm and muggy all across the state now, mid to upper 60s, even some low 70s right now. 74, the warm spot into Key West at this hour. Temperatures about 10 degrees difference if you move inland into Lake Placid and Sebring. Now it's 69 in Cortez, Braden at 69 degrees. Same temperature as the Gulf water, which is uh, taken at the end of the Venice Pier now. 60 in Punta Gorda, a bit cooler in Northport. Friday's forecast looks good. We're going to see some clouds mixed with the sunshine. High temperatures will be above seasonal averages as they have been all week long. Highs today were into the upper 70s to mid 70s I mentioned, but uh, we will still be close to that number on Saturday as well. Sunday may be a little bit cooler. Monday, the cooler air moves in. It's not going to be extremely cold either. Uh, just a little bit of a break in temperatures for about 36 hours. Now, this is the storm system which promises to bring some scattered showers to the nation's capital tomorrow. And you can see more rain for California, but it's starting to lessen somewhat. But there's another storm uh, to the west of thereof, and it's going to bring more problems in there early next week. Well, here comes the forecast for the nation's capital. You see spotty showers expected, and then eventually it should clear out of there by, say, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon with some clouds around. Temperatures will stay pretty warm, though, uh, throughout that region as a result of uh, high pressure still located off the east coast of the United States. Well, here's the forecast, as you see it right there for boaters. Not too bad out there, but winds and seas are going to deteriorate over the weekend, so be careful, Mariners, especially on Sunday. Low tide upcoming 139, and sunrise will be at 721. Partly cloudy, mild 62, and then for tomorrow, some sunshine mixed with clouds after some morning fog burns off, a high of 77. And there's the extended forecast. A Sunday afternoon and evening into Monday early morning, it gets rough and then clears out, cools down just for a little bit. Then we're back above average by Tuesday afternoon.